hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have 1 minus c square divided by c minus c square is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of the given equation and which of the roots are extraneous root Further at the end, I can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root. So please watch this video at the end. Uh, further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. Uh, you like both of these methods. Uh, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here we move towards our first method. And in the first method, uh, you see in the right hand side. Uh, the denominator in the right hand side is 1 and we write it as 1 minus c square divided by c minus c square is equals to 1 divided by 1 okay because <clears throat> the denominator in the right hand side is 1 so we write this in this form <clears throat> and now further in the next step we need to cross multiply the terms we multiply 1 with this value and we multiply 1 this term with this value uh, and now here after cross multiplication of the terms we will get here this is 1 minus c square is equals to this will becomes c minus c square is multiplied by 1. So uh, here in the next step uh, we uh, need to move this minus c square into the left hand side or we just move this minus c square to the right hand side. Uh, so um, this is negative term when we move it into the right hand side it will become so this is c minus c square this minus c square becomes here plus c square and now you see here this is the positive term and this is the negative term are gone and here we easily get the value of c is equals to 1. So here we get only one root of the given equation and that is c is equals to 1. Uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this root be the solution of the given equation or is this root be the extraneous root. So for verification uh, of the roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here. The given question statement is 1 minus c square divided by c minus c square is equals to 1. This is our given question statement. And here uh, we verify c is equals to 1. So for verification we need to put uh, the value of the c into the left hand side of the given equation. So when you put this value here it will be written as this is 1 minus here c square. So the value of c is 1 becomes 1 square and here you put this is uh, 1 minus 1 square is equals to 1. So here uh, we need uh, to make a little bit simplifications into the left hand side and you see here this is 1 square and 1 minus uh, becomes 1 minus 1 divided by here this is 1 minus 1 square is also equals to 1 and this whole equation is equals to 1. So this implies that this is 1 minus 1 becomes 0 divided by this 1 minus 1 becomes 0 is equals to 1. So here I can explain about uh, this 0 over 0 form. So here usually we called this 0 over 0 form uh, be the uh, is called the indeterminate form. Okay. Uh, so this is the uh, indeterminate form or in other words uh, this form is called the undefined form. Okay. This is the undefined 0 over 0 simply means that it is undefined so if this is undefined means that left hand side is not equals to right hand side so this is not equals to 1 or this is not possible that 0 over 0 form is equals to 1 so this means that the value of c is equals to 1 is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so uh, our conclusion about the value of c is equals to 1 is that uh, c is equals to 1 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay this is the extraneous root uh, here i can explain the term a uh, solution and extraneous root so the roots which is satisfied over given question statement is called the uh, solution of the given equation uh, and 
द रूट विच डज नॉट सेटिसफाइड अवर गिवन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट इज कॉल्ड द एक्सट्रीनियस रूट सो हेयर वी हैव दिस इज सी इज इक्वल टू वन विद एक्सट्रीनियस रूट सो इन फर्स्ट मैथड वी कैन नॉट गेट एनी वैल्यू ऑफ सी विच इज सेटिसफाइड अवर गिवन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट सो द फाइनल कंक्लूजन अबाउट द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज दैट इट हैज नो सोल्यूशन इन जनरल ओके सो वी कैन नॉट फाइंड एनी सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम and now here in the next step we again solve this problem for second method uh, i hope so you like both of these methods so in the second method we again first copy down given question statement here it is 1 minus c square divided by c minus c square is equals to 1 <clears throat> this is our given question statement and here in this method i can just uh, find the values of x and y in a very uh, smart way Uh, so here uh, in this method i can use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so we apply this formula and we write this one as one square so we will just use this nice formula to the uh, numerator term Uh, and when we apply here this formula on this term it will be written as 1 minus c times of 1 plus c is divided by here we need to take common c from the uh, denominator terms when you will take common c we get here this is 1 minus c is equals to 1 so here because we find the values of c so you see here this 1 minus c is cancelled out by this 1 minus c and we get here a uh, 1 plus c is divided by c is equals to 1 so here we uh, see that the denominator of this term is 1 and now we cross multiply the terms uh, so that when you cross multiply the terms we will get here 1 plus c is equals to c uh, so uh, here we move this plus c to the right hand side and it will becomes 1 is equals to c minus c So this is the negative term. This is the positive term. Are cancelled out by each other, and we get here one is equals to zero. So this is not possible that uh, one is equals to zero. Uh, so this means that uh, we cannot find uh, any value of c from in in the second method. Okay. So if we cannot get any value of c, this simply means that uh, this questions has uh, no solution. Okay. So this is the no solution this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos